I've been seeing some people with challenged shoulders lately, so I thought I'd do a video and go through a little bit of function on the shoulder joints so that if some of this resonates with you, then you can drop me a line and I can help you potentially. So there's an intimate relationship between our shoulder blade and our upper arm in terms of this upper arm moving in different directions. If you've had trauma to this shoulder or something's happened to it over the years, injury or, or whatever it could be, sometimes the muscles acting on the shoulder blade, which by the way is a floating bone, it has no real bony landmarks, therefore the muscles that act on the shoulder blade really control its position and its movement. And if they're dysfunctional, then there can be problems with the relationship between these two. So as the arm goes up overhead, at some point, the shoulder blade is supposed to move with it. So some of that range comes from the arm, some of that range comes from the shoulder blade rotating upwards. And as you probably know, you've heard of the rotator cuff, those four muscles that connect the head of the humerus to the scapula, which is the shoulder blade. And sometimes they can be put under a lot of stress if the arm carries on up and the shoulder blade doesn't play ball, doesn't come with it. So it's understanding that that may be what's going on with the shoulder, there could be other things, but this is what I'm seeing. So we need to understand what's not doing its job to, to move that shoulder blade in that upwards direction. And once we figure that out, then that relationship between those two is healthy and those rotator cuff muscles aren't put under pressure. So if any of that sounds like it resonates with you, could be something you might be interested in working on so that we can get that working healthily, drop me a line.